Ensure the liner is dry and free of mud or other contaminants. Place the Firestone EPDM geomembrane panel upon the substrate and allow it to relax for 15 minutes. Additional time may be required in cool weather. Fold the panel back to expose the underside that is to be adhered to the substrate. Minimize wrinkles before, during, and after installation. Using chemical resistant paint rollers, apply the bonding adhesive at its specified rate in an even uniform thickness to the exposed underside of the Firestone EPDM geomembrane panel and the substrate's exposed surface. Note, avoid application of bonding adhesive to any membrane or flashing that will be seamed in the future, as bonding adhesive may prevent proper bonding of the seam. Test the bonding adhesive for proper flash off by touching it with your finger and push at an angle. The bonding adhesive should not string as your finger is moved up and away. Bond the Firestone EPDM geomembrane panel to the wall substrate by rolling the liner surface onto the substrate evenly, generally starting at the bottom and working upwards. Using a stiff bristled broom or heavy roller, compress the adhesive coated panel onto the adhesive coated substrate to ensure proper bonding. Place a continuous bead of water block seal at the proper elevation on the wall and on the Firestone EPDM geomembrane panel so as to form a continuous seal directly behind the final placement of the termination bar or strip. Place the termination bar or strip. Note. If fasteners are placed in pre-drilled or pre-formed holes, align all holes before puncturing the membrane. Install the appropriate fasteners and tighten them, puncturing the membrane and forming a compression seal to the substrate. Do not over-tighten the fasteners. Place a continuous bead of lap sealant HS or all-purpose sealant along the top of the termination bar and over the exposed fasteners.